Hello everyone and welcome back to Learning to Sax. In today's video I have an exciting microphone comparison for you. As saxophonist, finding the right microphone for recording our instrument can be a daunting task. That's why I've put together this video to help you choose the perfect microphone for recording your saxophone. When it comes to recording the saxophone, the choice of the microphone will impact the sound and overall quality of your recordings. That's why I've selected four distinct microphones of different types. We'll be testing the Shure SM57 Dynamic Microphone, the Audio-Technica AT2020 Condenser Microphone, the Bayer Dynamic M160 Ribbon Microphone and the Kimafan Wireless Microphone. Whether you're looking for durability, affordability, vintage warmth or wireless convenience, I've got you covered. Before we start the comparisons, let's quickly go over the key features of each microphone. The Shure SM57 is a dynamic microphone known for its durability and versatility. It's a great workhorse, it's commonly used in live performances and studio recordings for various instruments, including the saxophone. And you can also use it to hammer nails. The Audio-Technica AT2020 is a condenser microphone that offers smooth and detailed sound reproduction. It's popular choice among musicians and content creators for its affordability and quality. The Bayer Dynamic M160 is a high-end ribbon microphone that delivers warm and vintage sound. It's often favored for its smooth high-frequency response and excellent transient response. To be clear with you, I received this microphone for free for testing. It comes in an ice box, works on batteries, you just turn the receiver and the microphone on, clip it to the saxophone and play. It's portable, easy to use and of course wireless. In the description I included the link where you can get this microphone. Now it's important to note that for this comparison I recorded all the samples at the same time to ensure that my playing wouldn't introduce any differences. Due to this approach, the microphones were placed in slightly different positions. While they may not be in the same exact position, I have taken care to ensure that the differences are minimal and won't significantly affect the comparison. This should have less impact on the sound than if I were to attempt to replicate the exact same sound by playing four times perfectly the same. Let's start with the SM57. It captures a well-balanced sound with a boost in the upper mid-range frequencies, which can help the saxophone cut through the mix. For me, it sounds a little nasally and lacks warmth. Thank you. 
AT2020 provides a bright and detailed sound, emphasizing the higher frequencies of the saxophone. It adds a sense of airiness and sparkle, but it does sound a little thin. The M160 ribbon microphone adds vintage touch to the sound. It delivers a smooth and warm tone, particularly in the mid and low frequencies, emphasizing the natural richness of the saxophone. I love everything about this microphone. Initially, I wasn't quite happy about the sound of that microphone. It lacked low end and definition. However, there's something we can do about this. Because I like the M160 so much, I tried to tone match the Kimaphone microphone to it with the FabFilter Pro-Q plugin. This worked surprisingly well. It helped to enhance the overall tonal balance and brought out more detail in the saxophone sound. The downside was the key noises were also amplified. Let's listen to the tone match version. After comparing the microphones, it's clear that each microphone has its own unique characteristic and strength. The Shure SM57 is a reliable all-around option, while the Audio-Technica provides a bright and detailed sound. 
The Bayer Dynamic M160 offers a vintage vibe and the Kimafan Clip-on Wireless provides wireless convenience. Let me know in the comments which microphone you like the best. For me, it was the M160. Because of its rich, smooth and detailed representation, I couldn't get enough of this microphone. Thank you for watching. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to Learning to Sex for more videos. And don't forget to keep practicing.